Um, basically, I was already in the schools giving workshops on conflict resolution and violent behavior awareness. And some of the principals came to me and said, you know, a lot of people are not going to gym. It was cutting the phys ed classes in the schools. And I was like, wow, but I didn't know how to replace it. So they said, well, think of some ideas and you'll get back to us in maybe two or three years. I was already exercising in the parks. There was no name bartenders. The organization was called Giant Think. That's the father program. So as I continued to work out, you know, I said, okay, I want to create something for the schools around fitness, no age. So they said, you cannot bring weights in the school. I said, wow, even better. Use your own body weight. They said, well, what are you going to do? Pull-ups. They said, well, pull-ups been here. It's very boring. I said, no, that's something new I'm going to bring. Very challenging to the mind and the body. So when I created the bartenders, you know, I went first to some brothers that I knew. And I said, I want to create something in the community that's going to be very different. But it's going to grow very, very fast. But I was very skeptical because I know people sometimes, if they don't have good hearts, it's not going to work. You're not going to yourself, to the mission, and the community. You're going to get caught yourself. So as we moved on in 2002, we had a group, and we first started our first maybe five people in bartenders. No YouTube. No DVD. VHS tape. Yeah. Okay, VHS tape. Old school. So we created our video and we started to show people and they said, yo, this is it. What you gonna do? I said, I'm gonna go to the schools first. It's not gonna work. And then the kids, it was a magnet to the children. We started going park to park to park to park, just pull-ups. And before you knew it, I went and started to get the girls, the children, the adults. And I said, our kids are gonna be called bartenders. They said, well, why? It sounds like liquor. No, it's negative, bartenders. Do bar master. I said, no. All masters the name that came from jail. Every man that comes from jail, he's a ball master because he mastered the bar. In jail, you can lift weights and put the bar. I said, no ball master. I'm a ball master, but I don't want to be called ball master. Bar attendants. Why bar attendants? Because I want you to pull up on the bars so you won't wind up behind the wrong bars. Jail bars. Wow. Bud don't make you wiser. Come drink on this. Drink. It's a metaphor for life. And it's like, wait, this is mental. It's not just physical, it's mental. So I said, we're going to be called the bartenders, and we're going to invite people to drink with us. And it became the norm. And then we said, you know what, let's put something on YouTube. Boom, and then everybody started to come. What is it, Cap? Character, attitude, and personality. Character, attitude, and personality. You come to the park, you got a face, you strong, we, we don't care. Because how do I know you're safe? Mm. I don't know I can bring them around your wife, your children. If I don't got no character, no attitude, or personality, I need to be watched. So I said, you know what? And I, I have you on my crew, and I don't know you. You got big muscles and you're strong. You can be dangerous to me and my organization. So I said, you know, before you even get an application, I want to know about your cat. Take me back to your community because if you great, your community should say you great too. And you made everything simpler. Because now I gotta have a cap. Forget it. Hmm. Thank you very much. You make it easy for me. Because there's too many attitudes, too much ego. But having a cap is always a check. So now when I check you, you're not looking at me like I'm the boss. I'm checking you because of your cap. You mad at me because of your cap? Character, attitude, personality, then come to the So that's very important to us. Very important. Please tell us about the situation, uh, today's situation in New York City, and uh, how the people react to the Palestinians' workout. Well, one, every borough, every street is catastrophic. Jumping on a light pole, jumping on scaffold sets, jumping on the light side, anywhere they can do a pull up, young kids, teenagers, yeah. adults. So it's the fastest thing in the community. <laughs> now, as far as the organizations coming together, there's a lot of crews. They don't come together. It's like a competition. And now there's a competition on the bars, they know that they don't represent goodness. They know that they're not out teaching the community. They know that they're not out with the kids. So they have an image on YouTube. That's all they have is YouTube. If you go to their community, you don't see them. 
So YouTube is not that good for people. But you say, oh, good, this guy is good, this guy, no, you, he might be a murderer or a rapist. And you don't even know. So don't get caught on television because it can lie to your vision. Meet the individual. I spoke to him. I heard the conversation. I'm coming. If I don't like his conversation, the energy is not healthy, uh, I'm not coming. So as far as exercising, a lot of organizations do come together. But there's a lot of people that feel, well, I don't want to go with you because you use your mind too much. I don't want to think. I just want to work out. Good. Wrong organization. You're in the wrong part. That's the park over there for the niggas and the bums and the crazy people. You no, know, that's people over here with morals, men and women, children and adults. Because it might be somebody's daughter. It might be somebody's grandfather. And I got to bring you around them. So once again, morals with bartenders is very, very important for us. So the community, they come together. We support Bar Stars. They have an event. We're going to go support it. Some teams will come out. Some teams won't come out. How do you see the movement growing in the future in your organization? Well, as, as far as bartenders, I mean, it's, it's been doing everything I expected it to do. It started small, and I said, okay, you ready? I'm going to put it on YouTube. So I'm, I'm very thankful that it's touching people. I'm thankful that more people, nobody's ever done pull-ups in their life this much, ever in existence. Let me say it again. There's never been, never time in existence where people did more body weight exercises ever. The weights, you don't see too much no more. The big muscle guy, you don't see too much no more. This is changing everything. It's in the movies, the TV, the commercials. Everything is use your body. So it's moving very big. But look out for bartenders and Nike, obstacle courses, country to country. Kuwait versus New York, New York versus Mexico, Mexico versus Germany. But it's about the whole creation coming together to benefit their cities. Not, I did it. Give me the heavyweight belt. No, it only fits one person. The bartender's belt is going to go around your city. You're not the individual. Not the individual. So you represent your city. Your city gets the belt. Your city gets the trophy. Not, look what I got. No. So that's bartender. It's all about the community. It's about community and connect. That's what it's about. My name is Giant. Growing is a noble thing. Honeybee, she should bring sweetness. She should bring purity. These names represent something. Miss Mobile, we should be communicating like a mobile phone. These names, they hold weight. We don't take a name because, you know, I like the name. Some teams do that. We didn't make these t-shirts up because of uh, like the shirts. We said, this is our bad of art. We're going to wear it with respect. So whether I wear my shirt or not, you know, you're a bartender. You know, the way you carry yourself, the way you know, respect me. Respect me. That's very, very important. Because now I went from bartenders to Yankee. I wasn't expecting them to call me, but they seen something. They seen all of these crews all over the world. They said, where this stuff? Who got it? Because when you sit with other organizations, uh, uh, bah, 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 you, you don't know nothing. Oh, you're just a mimic. Oh, you don't you don't live this. Can you live this without the bar? Do you carry this in your everyday life? Or is it just they're at the bar? Let me go show them. No. But this is humbling. You work out in this bar, right? It should humble you. If it's not humbling you, you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. Uh, please tell us uh, how does it feel to be a girl in the team and, uh, and the first I general. Say, I have to say she's amazing. She muscle ups easily. She do muscle ups easily. You know. So We're gonna talk about that muscle up too. <laughs> okay. Man. We call it incredible. Depends on how you do it. If you kick, it's a muscle up. Okay. If you move your knee or kick, it's a muscle up. If you go straight up very clean, it's incredible. I like that. You see? I like that. It's so it's, it's, the, it's a different move. It's the language. Yeah, definitely. So uh, how come you you're, you you joined the bartender? How long are you in the team? Some, something about that. 
Um, I started about 10 years ago, when I was about 12, and um, that was actually very empowering because when I first started, I was like the first female to start. There was no other females. Zero. Like, I was, it was me with the whole bunch of guys all the time. <laughs> so I was like the only symbol of a female. And my mission throughout the whole program was to try to keep that whole female like character. Because you have a lot of women that feel that I don't want to touch the bars because it's going to make me too muscular or give me that manly shape. And that was one of the characteristics that I wanted to show you know, females that you can still do it and still keep your feminine shape and your feminine ways. And I have to, you know, be like a, um, a dyke or, you know. Yo, women in Croatia. Here, hear this. It's very important. Yeah. Yes, and it's very, it's very um, empowering for now. With all the women that are joining as of now, I see a little bit of money carrying into that. That's right. And they also give me a constant reminder of how much I need to step my game up. Because when you're the only female there, you don't realize how many people are actually looking up at you. And then when you have other females joining, and they're like, I want to be happy, I want to be happy. It's like, wow, like, I do have followers. I do have people who do look up to me. And what I'm doing is being recognized, and it's showing through all of their characteristics. So it's very empowering for me as a woman, especially to just start the creation of having more female joy and letting them know it's okay to do And that's very important to me. Like she said, the first female on video, looking very clean. You know, just give the woman a set out there, please. Very, give them fundamental first, and then turn it up. And we're going to get back to you. Fundamental, and then maybe just do some hand switches. So she started with basics. I hope you also notice, bartenders do not use our thumbs. We never turn our lock on the bars. Now you can pedal on them and get clean or whatever you want. So our system is very, very important. And like I said, there's a purpose for our movement. This is not freestyle. Even though people call it freestyle, bartenders is not freestyle. You know, not freestyle. Okay, that's uh, that's very important because uh, it's all yeah, it's all about the basics, and then you you go to trick. There you go. Yes, fundamentals, fun. Now work on the mental. See the language again. Yeah, yeah. It tells you what to do if you practice it correctly. It's basically with school. Like you go through um, early childhood, then you go through preschool, through school, mm. school grade, you go through elementary school, then you go through middle school, then you go through high school, then you go through college, then you establish. This is college. how we see our moves. You can't jump from a plane to a career. Yeah. So the same thing. Like if you don't have those fundamentals, if you don't have like the roots from a tree, you just don't grow out of it. And you that seed, if you have to plant it. If you don't have those roots, you can't develop anything else out of it. You have to start from something. So you learn the basics first, and as you learn them and you keep on gain and experience in them, you start to develop. You can add different things. You can add your own personality into it. You can start doing tricks, but they all start from the learning the basics. movements and the activities on a global level, how do, how do you see uh, the movement growing? It's, it's really growing. We, we have people like yourself who's doing a lot more in the community, and he's creating a non-for-profit organization, going back into the schools, going in into the blocks or the, or the areas of the youth. This is the biggest blessing, to touch other people and then let somebody touch someone else. And then once again, we all come back at the end of the day to pull each other up. It, it don't get no better than that. You know? I mean, for me, to see it again, it's like, wow, all over the world, they're doing pull-ups. And I'm, and I'm humbled, and I'm, and I'm very thankful because I know where it started. It started right here in New York City. Artemis had the opportunity to be blessed to say, you know what, let's spark it. Created our shirts, and now we have people all over the world, 300 pull-up teams, you know, known and unknown, really trying to be recognized in this that Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. If you want to say some final words to Croatian audience, feel free. Um, Croatian audience, please, my young brothers, my young sisters, become great and then go back to your community and make someone else great. You were the cause of what you caused. So be careful what you cause by doing what's positive. Don't think of wrong being an option. Right is the only way. But who do you want to do right with is up to you. So I'm going to leave you with a drink at the bars. Basic, fundamental, 
Stay on your pull-ups. Because if you cannot do pull-ups, simple. Not robot. Robot. No. This is pull-up. This is chin-up. Damn. Chin-up. No, this is pull-ups I'm doing. See, pull-up. Rhythm. There's a rhythm with the bars. And if you notice, I'm not. <laughs> Just breathing. So I do this effortless. Because the pull-up to me might not mean what it means to you. So when I touch the bar, I touch the bar with the energy of the world and my people. Maybe you touch the bar because of the camera. But what about when the camera cuts off? Okay, John, thanks very much for having me. Much love from Croatia. Man. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay. I look forward to coming out there. This, this guy is a great guy, man. Energy means everything, people, and I appreciate you sending him to the... Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much.